Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Uranium on Paparadri. Last time we obtained our fourth badge, and right after, a Pokemon Ranger told us that there had been another nuclear explosion, so the Pokemon Ranger flew us out to Legion Town. Today, we're going to continue from here in Legion Town. We're going to look around and see what we can find. Now, the first thing you guys can see is that the subway is now open. We've seen a couple subways in other places in Tandor, but we haven't been able to get in. It's been blocked off. Now, finally, it looks like we're going to be able to go for a ride on the subway. I bought a couple tickets. They're pretty cheap. Not too bad. 250 Poké Dollars to make your way to another side of the region? Sounds good with me. Please choose your destination. We can go to Burl Town, Now Talk City, or Bale Beach City. I'm going to be making my way to Now Talk, so let's go ahead and ride the subway on over. Next stop, Now Talk City. We've made it to Now Talk. It's been a while since we've been here. We got ourselves a great ball as well. Let's make our way back out to Now Talk. Good to see that the subway is working and fully functional. Now that we're back here in Now Talk, there are a couple different ways that we came in here the first time. We can come in through Passage Cave or through Comet Cave. Now, lucky for us, I cleared out Route 2. So we're gonna be making our way through the little shortcut. We're gonna skip right over Comet Cave and we're gonna make our way back to Kevlar Town. Now, if you guys remember, we've been doing a lot of running around these regions, and we found some really important items that we need to do backtracking to take care of. So we found a bike wheel on a beach somewhere just laying around, and that bike wheel is what we can turn in now in Kevlar Town for a bicycle. So I'm super pumped for it. We're back here in Kevlar Town. It's been a while. It really has. Here is the bike repair shop. So let's head inside and let's get ourselves a bicycle. What's up, dude? You got a bike ready for us? Hey, kid, you walked in here, which means that you need a bike repaired. Oh, it looks like you have a bike wheel with you. This is just what I needed to repair this bike. Wait a second. There you go. A brand new bicycle for free. We got ourselves a bicycle. Yeah. To ride on it, just use it from your bag. Thank you so much, bicycle man. What a nice guy. He just handed us a bicycle for free. All we gave him was a bike wheel. I don't know how he managed to piece it together. The man is a miracle worker. He is making bikes out of nothing. Don't know how he does it, but good for him. So now that we got ourselves our little bicycle, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be able to continue forward from here in Kevlar Town. Now, as I mentioned, there are a couple more things that I want to take care of because you guys have left me tips and comments from the beginning of this adventure that I am now going to go and take care of. We haven't been able to backtrack till this point. So now that we can backtrack, I definitely want to take care of those tips. Thank you guys so much. You told me that if we go and catch a Fortog, we'll be able to turn it in for a Bashan. And Bashan has been one of the most highly requested Pokemon for me to use on the team. So I'm going to make sure we get one. Let's talk to this guy over here. I see you're a strong kid. You even have a badge. Please take this and make good use of it. We got ourselves an old rod. We have a good rod already. And this is where you get yourself the old rod on Route 1. So it is also here in Route 1 that we're going to go fishing for a Fortog. So let's start throwing in the old rod. And let's hope that we can find this Pokemon. It shouldn't be too difficult, right? There we have it. That's the Pokemon I've been looking for. It is Fortog, level 5. So it should be a fairly easy catch. Let's go ahead and see what we can do then, ladies and gents, against the Fortog. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. We've been seeing it since the beginning of the adventure. And I'm glad that we're finally going to be able to catch this one to go and trade it. I've been wanting to add Bashan to our team since you guys told me. So thank you guys so much for all your tips and comments that you guys leave me. It's always really, really handy. I really do appreciate it. You guys left me some really awesome comments as well in the previous video. So thank you guys so much for that as well. I always love getting to read through the comments with you guys and getting to talk to you. Last time I asked you guys what your favorite show growing up was. I had a lot of favorite shows growing up and I'd have to agree with a lot of you guys. One of you guys said Power Rangers and Power Rangers was my top show growing up. When I used to live in El Salvador when I was a kid, you know, pre six years old, that was the show I watched nonstop. I was obsessed with Power Rangers. It was just so good, especially the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Just like that, we got ourselves a Fortog. Now, I'm not going to give the Fortog a nickname. We are just going to catch it, and we're going to be out on our way. 
I remember I even had a Power Rangers themed party and I was dra dressed as the White Power Ranger. If you guys remember that one, that was Tommy and it was so cool. I love the Power Rangers. They were so much fun. I always like the Red Ranger as well. I like the Green Ranger a lot. They were all really cool. Now that we have the Fort Hog, we're going to make our way back on up to Now Talk, ladies and gents. So we're doing pretty good. I also saw a couple cartoons that you guys were mentioning. I'm a big fan of Rugrats. I watch a lot of Rugrats coming up. Hey Arnold, pretty much all the shows that were on Nickelodeon, as I mentioned to you guys, I've been watching some of the game shows. Those were really, really fun, like Nick Gas. I watched a ton of those. I really liked all that growing up. I still go back and watch some of the episodes. They have all that episodes up on VRV, if you guys know what that is. It's pretty much like a streaming service. And they put all those old shows on there. So I went back, watched a bunch of them. I watched Rocket Power back all that back, the Amanda show a little bit. Those are the shows that I grew up with, you know? I also watched a lot of the Disney Channel growing up, Phil the Future, those types of things. I always thought they were really entertaining. I used to watch a lot of the Disney Channel whenever I played my PSP. It was just on in the background, and I have some fond memories of those times. Now that we do have the Pokemon to trade, we're gonna make our way on up to the third floor of this place. And we're gonna talk to this fine gentleman. Not the guy who's calling me about a Magikarp. This fine gentleman over here. Hey, you look like a trainer. That means you collect Pokemon. I'm looking for a Fortog. If you got one, I'll trade you my Bashan for it. And yes, we do. So, say goodbye to Fortog. As we are going to be getting ourselves the Pokemon that we've all been waiting for. So thank you guys so much for all your tips and comments, I really appreciate it. I couldn't have found this guy without you, and I'm gonna be very, very glad to be adding a brand new Pokemon to our team. And there we have it, guys. We got ourselves a Bashan. He said, take care of him. Woo, I have a happy Fortog now. You can go catch yourself a Fortog wherever you want, my man. That's what it's all about, you know? Go find yourself a Fortog. You do your thing, you do what you gotta do. We're gonna talk to some of the people around here, but just like that, guys, we do have our Pokemon ready to go. Now what's great is this guy is the name raider. Let's see if I can even change our Pokemon's name. I can. And it looks like we are not going to be able to change this name. So we're just going to call our Pokemon here, Human. We got a level 5 Human. Pretty cool. We'll take the Pokemon. We'll take the Bashan. Now that we have our Bashan with us, we're going to be ready to make our way back to Legion Town. So let's go for a ride on the subway. And I'll meet you guys back over there. Now that we're back in Legion Town, let's explore around and let's see what we can find in this place. It's a very, very big town, and we usually find good things in these towns. Oh, your trainer! Oh, this is wonderful! And you're traveling to Region? Oh, joy! I'm so glad you came here! Allow me to introduce myself. You can call me the Tinker, and that's all what I do. Oh, so trainer, you know Hidden Machines, HMs? Of course! Well, I will let you in on a secret. They suck. They're weak moves, so weak, useless. Pokemon are not slaves, we have technology. So this is what I do, I tinker. Make machines to do the work of HMs. Here, trainer, I want you to have this. Sweet, we got ourselves some boxing gloves. It crushes rocks, yes, it crushes rocks are in your way. No more rock, it's a miracle. Now your Pokemon get to rest, and you, my friend, can also rest easy. Someday there will be no need for these, but until then, I tinker. Sweet, so the tinkerer just gave us what I believe is Rock Smash. So cool, we don't have to teach Rock Smash to our Pokemon any longer. I'll gladly take that. We'll finally be able to teach Brick Break to a Pokemon around here. Let's talk to everybody else and see how they're doing. This is a very, very peaceful place. I like it a lot. The birthplace of heroes. Whoa, what hero was born here? If I pray to Iotis, will he make things right again? I don't know. This is the super training tent. The tutor is Kenichi. Let's head inside and check it out. Kenichi, what's going on? My name's Kenichi and I'm a ninja from Tsukunami Village and I offer specialized training in a defense stat. I'm not really that interested, but cool. Looks like he can make your Pokemon stronger. Let's make our way on over here then and see what we can find. Whoa, it's Kellen! There's a large number of nuclear Pokemon out there and they're vicious. Our rangers are having trouble holding them off. If we don't keep them back, they'll spread the radiation to this town. There's no way we're having that. I'm not going to put any more lives in danger. Suit up, let's go. Rodri, 
You're all right. I see you were in Vinoville when it happened. I thought I was sending you out of harm's way. I'm so sorry. I'm glad. I'm so glad you're okay. Now I'm going to do the best that I can to make things right. And I'll start by protecting the people of Legion and Vinoville. Oh, it's Rodri. See, you showed up to help us battle the nuclear Pokemon. As much as I resent putting you in danger like this, I also want to see your Pokemon battling skills in action. Don't worry, Rodri. I'll keep you safe no matter what. Come with me. Listen up, everybody. Beyond this point is the start of the hazard zone. Most of this side of the hill is sheltered from the fallout, but the nuclear Pokemon are encroaching into this area, irradiating the ground as they go. As you know, they are resistant to capture Stylers. Using Pokemon to stop them is the most effective way. Pokemon who have trainers are more resistant to the mind-altering effect of the radiation. They also recover more quickly, whereas humans are at great risk of exposure. The area here is not very toxic because we are far away from the epicenter protected by the mountain. Still, it is important to be cautious. Is everybody ready? Let's go! Here we are! We made it to the affected area, and the whole team is here. Our goal is to subdue the feral nuclear Pokemon to prevent them from breaching the barrier. Additionally, we have word from rangers who have discovered some people and Pokemon that are in danger. We must rescue them, and Perilla and I will go on ahead. Let's move out. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have our team ready to go. We have Sheldon here who's going to be assisting us. And it is time for us to dive right in to Route 11 and start taking care of some of the Pokemon here. You guys heard, there are going to be a lot of nuclear Pokemon around in this area. So we got to be prepared to battle them as well. We'll see what we can find in this place. So far, so good. Hold up, look there. It looks like that Pokemon's in trouble. Rodri, let's fight this together. And Perilla, go. Here we go, guys. Rodri and Kellen versus Nuclear Bashan or Nuclear Bashoff and Nuclear Transcure. So here we go. We're going to open up with Iro and Amperilla. What in the heck is that Amperilla? That thing looks pretty dang cool. So let's see what Kellen can do here. Let's see how Kellen battles. I'm going to do a lot of work to that Bashoff. It is out here. You guys already know it's going to be super effective. Get out of here, Bashaf. And the Tan Skewer has done it. Super effective. I don't even know what that move was, but it came through real good. Nice work, kid. Those were some impressive battling skills. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Kellen, we need backup. Come quick. I'm on it. Let's keep going then. These four Pokemon are getting harassed by the nuclear Pokemon. Don't even know if we should go over here to the left. Well, you already know me, guys. I like to get myself all riled up. There's too many of them. They overwhelmed our Rangers. Don't worry. Rodri and I will take care of them. Here we go, guys. Rodri and Kellen versus two more Pokemon. So let's see what we got this time around. Looks like we got a nuclear Ekans and a nuclear Gligar. Kind of crazy to see all these nuclear Pokemon coming out here. There must be some serious stuff going on in this region. I can't believe all these nuclear explosions are happening. One is bad enough, but for there to be multiple ones in a region, that's just insane. That is so dangerous for everyone living here. Assurance is going to be coming out. And the Gligar is almost out of here. Oh no, is that a nuclear move coming out? That did 50% of Emperilla's health. That's pretty good from a Gligar that's only level 28. Nuclear Pokemon are really strong. And there we have it. The Gligar is down. So we're moving on through. Ugh. And Perilla, I can feel your energy starting to fade. Is the radiation getting to you? It's okay. Don't worry. You're safe now. My Rangers will protect. Whoa. What was that? This isn't good. I can't let Emperilla be exposed to any more radiation. Rodri, are your Pokemon still fighting fit? I need you. No, we all need your help. Please, we're counting on you. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... Oh, man. They got themselves a nuclear Arbok now. So here we go. This is us on our own now. We have a nuclear Arbok and a nuclear Baran to go up against. I'm feeling good, though. Our Pokemon are very, very strong. So let's see what we can do with Iroh and Fox here. You already know the strategy. I'm going to go for the Magnitude. And I'm going to hit the Air Slash here on the Baran. So let's get it going. Let's do some work onto these Pokemon. I hope that the nuclear Pokemon take some serious damage. 
The Arbok is almost down. I like it. I like it. And the Brand is almost down. Great work then. Let's hope no crazy nuclear moves are coming out. And that we don't start getting KO'd. We only have a handful of Pokemon. So we start losing them. It's going to be tough. Nuclear Waste is coming out. We're badly poisoned. Would you look at that? Who would have thought to put a Lumberry there, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. It's almost like I made a good choice as a Pokemon trainer for once. Let's go ahead and use that Magnitude. And that is going to take down... He didn't take it down. Well, Fox, how about you take it down then? And the Arbok is out of here. So we've took down the next two nuclear Pokemon. So far, so good. Thank you, Rodri. We all owe you one. Yes, thank you. Is it over? It looks like the nuclear Pokemon fled for now. They're secure. Come with us. We'll take you to a safe place. I cannot thank you enough for your help out there, Rodri. If you hadn't been able to pull through in the last minute, we all would have been in serious trouble. I'm, I'm so glad. Seeing you battle with your Pokemon fighting alongside you makes me wish I'd gotten to know you better before. Rodri, well done. As thanks for the indispensable help you brought to the Tandor Rangers today, please take this. We obtained HM04 Strength. Let's go. Now, please, get as far from this side as you can. You have four gym badges, right? I don't know much about Pokemon training, but I'm fairly sure that your next badge is in Amatree Town. You'll have to go through Bakel Rainforest to get there. But based on how you handle those Pokemon today, I'm sure you can take care of yourself. Well, thank you so much, Kellen. We've obtained HM Strength. Very cool. So now it's going to be up to us to find out where exactly is we need to go. We got TM79 Dark Poles. Yeah, I'll gladly take it. This is going to be Route 9, way to Rock Fail Town. So a bunch of different ways that we can go. And let's see what this is going to lead me to. Okay, there is another way we can go here as well. This is West Handor Victory Road ahead. Don't think we're going to be making our way there just yet. I got myself a super repel. And I'm going to make my way back into town. See if we can find anything else here. Pretty cool that we were able to help out Kellen. The nuclear Pokemon are going crazy though. Kind of feel bad for all the Pokemon here in this region. The fact that they have to be exposed to that radiation is just sad. Pretty horrible, honestly. Any Pokemon that have to deal with that is just not, you know, going to be feeling good. We got ourselves TM05 Roar. Hear me roar, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a brand new HM. And now that we have the HM strength, I want to talk to this guy. I wonder if he has anything else for us. Go away, I'm busy. Dude, you don't have any more tools for us? All right, man, I see how it is. Oh, look, it's Theo. Hey, Roger, looks like you're back from helping the Rangers out. W wish I could have helped, but I guess those good people are safe anyway. I'm going to stick around Legion Town a bit, I think. I just got HM over strength from a weird fat guy in a house over there. When you have strength, you gotta take the train back to Burl Town and move the rock that's blocking the way to Bakel Rainforest, right? Still gotta be Sheldon and get the Pixel Badge before I can do that, though. After I do that, you better believe I'm gonna catch up to you, Rodri. Ah, so you guys just heard. We gotta make our way back to Burl Town, and from there, we're gonna be able to use the HM strength to make our way to the next place. So let's go ahead and take the subway on over. Next stop, Burl Town. We are back in Burl Town. And it sure has been a while since we've been here. Can't remember the last time we were in Burl Town, ladies and gentlemen. But here we are yet again. And now we just need to figure out which way it is we need to go. So I'm going to heal up our Pokemon. I've gone ahead and healed up our Pokemon. So let's see what we can find here. Now, I only remember one area that we could possibly use strength at. So I'm gonna make my way to the east of the subway and then we're gonna head on up. We've been through this route before and we'll come through it again. I'm sure we will. We've been through so many places here. So let's keep going past the bridge and see if we can find where to use strength. Now this does seem a little bit familiar. We've been here before. So I think I know which cave we are going to be looking for. There was a cave around here that we couldn't do anything with before. We weren't able to go through it. We weren't able to do a whole lot. So let's see if we can find that one yet again. A lot of Pokemon coming at us as well. Ekans? Oh, very cool. So now you guys know where you can find an Ekans. No wonder that trainer had an Arbok. Or that nuclear Pokemon was coming at us that was an Arbok. 
Bakel Forest Comet Cave ahead. And that has to be it. We're going to be making our way through to Bakel Forest. Glad we were able to find this place. So let's keep on going. And yes, this is the one place we weren't able to push through at all. Now I need to teach one of our Pokemon strength. So let's see which one of our big boys is going to be able to learn it. Looks like Iroh can learn it, which is great. Now I can get rid of a Rock Smash. Rock Smash is not needed. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, we want to stop. No, we don't want. We don't want to stop learning strength. What you talking about out here? We don't want to stop learning strength, and it looks like I'm gonna have to find the move deleter to get rid of Rock Smash. So we aren't gonna teach it to Iroh. I'll teach it to somebody else. We could probably teach it to Dragoon. Dragoon doesn't have any moves that are too crazy. So let's go ahead and get rid of. Dig's pretty good. Rollout's pretty good. I haven't been using Ancient Power a whole lot. So I'll go ahead and get rid of Ancient Power for now. And there we go. Dragoon learns strength. Let's start pushing through then as I am ready to make my way to the next town. Dragoon strength made it possible for us to go. Did you just push that rock? You must be a skilled trainer. I must warn you though, the Bakel Rainforest is a challenge. They don't even have electricity in Amitri, so you won't be able to access the PC. Make sure you're prepared before you go inside. We are definitely prepared, ladies and gentlemen. I have all of our Pokemon with us. It looks like we're going to have a battle, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So there are going to be Pokemon Rangers hanging out here. We got TM42 Facade. Let's go. I'll take it. There's also some weird looking trees here. Aka berries. Okay. I wonder what these Aka berries do. Interesting. There's so many berries in the Pokemon world. I only know like what half of them do. I don't know if even all of them get used because there's so many of them. We've made it to Route 10. Oh yeah. I'll take all these berries. We got some Guara berries and we're going to have more battles coming up. So far so good, all our Pokemon are staying strong. This is crazy. Look how much is going on here in this place. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. This forest is freaking huge. What's up here? <laughs> I have no idea. This is pretty wild. We got ourselves a netball. I'll take it, I'll take it. And let's go ahead and jump into our next battle. This is a pretty good training spot as there are a lot of bug Pokemon. I'm gonna go down this way now. This looks like a good path to take. Looks like we might be heading out somewhere. There's also more to do here it looks like but we're kind of closed off. This is a very very strange place. The insects are ravenous. What? It's too scratched to read. We might as well head inside right? It's not like the sign said danger or anything like that. Bug trainers are getting squashed for real. So let's keep going through. Ah, there we have it. Looks like we're gonna have to do a little pushing of the rocks here to maneuver through, my friends. So let's start pushing then, Dragoon. Help me out. We're only trying to make our way to the next area, my dude. All right, this is looking good. This is looking very promising. My Pokemon have been poisoned. I see an exit. 
This is an exit to Route 10, ladies and gentlemen. This has to be one of the craziest routes. My Pokemon are fainting. We got a TM53 energy ball, though. I'll gladly take that. You already know how it is. Also, it looks like there's a couple more trees here. We got some Kupu Berries. Yeah. And check it out over here. We found a Jungle's Crown. What in the heck? And a Hyper Potion. So a lot of items here that they are giving us. And you already know I will gladly take all these items, ladies and gents. Now, how close are we to the town? Or is this just one of those places that we are looking on over? I think that might be it. Fox survived the poisoning. Thankfully, ladies and gents, thankfully. All right, let's get the rest of these berries then. Some Akai berries. And I think we're going to make our way back inside as we are going to continue going deeper into this place. There we have it guys, Fox is evolving. So Fox has finally reached the right level and here comes the final evolution for our Phoenix Pokemon. I'm super pumped for this one. We've been waiting for this one for quite a while. So cool, look at that. Congratulations, our Fox evolved into Pajay. So now we have Pajay the Fox on our team, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. I knew there was a good reason we're going through here and taking care of everything. We got ourselves some silver powder. Okay, okay, I'll take the silver powder. Now I'm gonna try to maneuver through here a little more carefully as we are hopefully getting closer to the exit and our Pokemon could really use a break here. So we'll see how it's gonna go. Got me, TM93 infestation. Whoa, what is going on here in this place? Infestation? Hey, look at that! We found a way out! And it's another way out to Route 10! Route 10 has so many different exits for you to take. I really don't know where I'm going half the time. But I will make sure we get all the berries! We gotta sell some Akai berries. There's a nice guy over here doing a little bit of fishing. So how bad of a place can this be, you know? How bad can it truly be around here? Looks very peaceful. They said there's not a whole lot of electricity. That they don't have PCs. That's not a bad thing. We have the stronger bird, Bird Keeper. But sure, we'll give you our number. We're nice people. We're not gonna keep our phone number from you. There we go, that was a good battle for us. Ooh, more orange trees around here. We got some Guara Berries. What's up Guara Berries? And we made it to another cave. So deeper in we go through Route 10. This is a very, very long route. Definitely one of the longer ones. Got ourselves some Kupu Berries. Cool, I'll take the Kupu Berries any day I can. And now we've made it to Amatree Town! Yeah! So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we've been trying to get to. Welcome to Amatree. Not many people make it through Baiko in one piece. So congratulations. Ah, congratulations to us indeed, ladies and gentlemen. We just made it through a tough route, and now we are here in Amatree Town. Wow, you found this place. Good job. Yeah, for real though. Good job indeed. This place was really, really hidden away. Now we just gotta find where the heck their Pokemon Center is, if they even have a Pokemon Center, because I know they don't even have electricity around here. So that is gonna be for us to find. We got TM06 Toxic. Yeah, I will gladly take that TM. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here in Amatree Town. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. 
If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Uranium. Goodbye.